Okay, so banks are going to fail. And the FDIC, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, is not going to be there to rescue you. All right, so let's talk about it. This is the Hey Ed YouTube channel, and I am your host, moderator, and all-around nice guy, Edward Anderson. I'm not a financial advisor. Don't construe anything that I mentioned in this video as financial advice. Always do your own research before doing anything with your money. Today, we've got to talk about a subject that I've talked about before, but it bears repeating because I think a lot of people still uh, are not aware of what's going on. A lot of banks out there right now are on very thin ice, okay? We see uh, Credit Suisse on the verge of going bust. Okay, the, if you look at the stock chart of Credit Suisse, it's at an all-time low. It's lost about 95% of its value, and you know it's at risk of being gone any day now. And Deutsche Bank, also in trouble. We had both uh, Goldman Sachs and Citibank miss their earnings projections in the last quarter. And Professor Ken Rogoff, who is an economics professor at Harvard University, and he's the former chief economist for the International Monetary Fund, uh, he says that later this year, there's a very good chance that the United States government could start defaulting on their interest payments on their debt. We talked about this many times before. So what kind of a macro story are you expecting in 2023 then, Ken? Well, absolutely. I mean, I think, you know, you, you really have to look at the world, which is in bad shape. I mean, Europe's in high inflation, uh, recession. China's and their equivalent of a recession, or they might actually be in a negative growth recession. Uh, Japan is on the brink of bursting uh, with its uh, fixing the yield and zero interest rate policy. They're likely to go into recession. And if you think that your bank uh, is immune, <laughs> listen, in the last financial crisis in 2010, 157 banks went bust. They're gone, poof. Okay, so now you're saying that I'm okay, Ed, because my bank has FDIC. <laughs> now, what banks like to do in order to bolster their prestige is they put that little gold-colored sticker on their front door. It says FDIC insured. <laughs> so you feel, oh, good. Well, I don't have to worry about my bank going bust because I'm covered. The bank has insurance. Well, what I'm about to show you should alarm you. It should wake you up. And I'm going to give you a solution here toward the end of the video. So please stick with me. And, you know, I geeked out and I went again to their site, which you can do on your own, of course. And I'm going to show you what I found. Okay, so if you go to the FDIC site and you scroll over to the quarterly report and you can scroll down. So right down to around uh, pages 37 and 38, this is what you want to go to. Okay, and if you look at these numbers and you can see that they are covering over $9 trillion of depositors assets. So that's $9 trillion worth of uh, assets on deposit that they're responsible for covering in the event of the next financial crisis. Well, also in the, in the report, they show that they only have $125 billion of actual liquid reserves. Okay, so they're responsible for $9 trillion, <laughs> but they only have $125 billion of actual liquid assets. Okay, that's what, about 1.5%, less than 2% of what they're responsible for. So really about two cents on the dollar of your money in your bank is actually insured. So for every hundred dollars you have it's in your bank account, okay, two dollars are safe. <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay, now you're saying, yeah, but Ed, we got the government. The government will back them up. The government will bail, bail us out in the event that it happens. Well, let me tell you something. That is what happened in the last financial crisis. The government, when they bailed out all of these large banks in order to save the world financial system, right? Well, the government is at least smart enough to know. I mean, these guys are pretty stupid, but they're at least smart enough to know that there's no way the public is going to stomach the same thing that happened back in 2008, 9, and 10. Okay, it's not going to happen. So they came up with this brilliant evil scheme called bail-in laws that was created by these evil geniuses at the Bank for International Settlements in Basel, Switzerland. And most major countries have adopted it, including uh, ours. And the bail-in laws says that these banks can legally dip into your bank account in order to meet the next financial crisis. Remember, any money you have sitting in the bank is legally not considered your money. I'm always amazed how many people are surprised when they hear that. No, your money you have sitting in your bank is legally not considered your money. You, my friends, are unsecured creditors. 
That's what you are. You are loaning your money to the bank. When you make a deposit, you are loaning your money to the bank. They can do whatever they want with it. What do they do? They loan it out to other people. This is fractional reserve banking, right? That's what they do. They're taking your money. They pay you nothing on your money. And then they loan it out at higher interest rates. People take out their mortgages, car loans, whatever, at higher rates. And that's how they make their money. It's such a scam. I'll, I'll be doing another video on that pretty soon. So look for that about how the banking system and fiat currencies, for that matter, are scams. They're a scam artist. If you and I did what the banks do, we would be in jail, but they're allowed to do it. I just want to make sure that you understand that your money sitting in, in your bank account is not safe. The FDIC is not funded nearly well enough in order to cover the money you have sitting in your bank. So what is my suggestion to everyone? As always, number one, reduce your exposure to your bank. Start getting your money out of your bank now while you can. Number two, Take some of that money and put it into gold and silver. You got to start getting some of this stuff. You have to do it. It's not just for the rich. Your dollars in, in the bank are not only not safe, but they're a very, really bad investment. You're losing money on it. It's a guaranteed loss in your money because with inflation, you are losing money. So take some of your fiat currencies, some of your US dollars, British pounds, Japanese yen, wherever you are, and put them into these guys. Put it into gold and silver. And number three, you have to establish streams of passive recurring income. And at the Hey Ed WhatsApp group, that's what we spend our time on. We spend our time looking for ideas uh, to put our money to work so we're staying ahead of inflation. Now, I can't help you with that first objective, getting your money out of the bank. You have to do that. That's, your, you know, that's on you. The other two, putting some of your money into gold and silver. I got a fantastic program for that. 7K medals. You should look into that. That's what I use uh, to acquire my gold and silver. And as far as I'm concerned, it's the best way to do it. And then I have programs for you to help establish streams of passive recurring income that far outpace the money that you make making in the bank. That's the dream, right? <laughs> the dream is to have money coming in for you. It's income. Passive. Passive means you don't have to work for it. Recurring means it comes in all the time and it's income. So as always, I'll have my contact information in the description below if you want to learn more about those programs. Uh, or if you'd like to join the Hey Ed WhatsApp group, you know, shoot me an email and I'll send you a link for the Hey Ed WhatsApp. We would love to have you join. It's a wonderful group of people. We always have a lot of fun. Uh, and dare I say it, I think uh, we're changing people's lives. So the money you're sitting in your bank is not safe and it's not a good investment. And when the stuff hits the fan, the FDIC is not going to be there to save the day. So please be proactive. Please start doing things now because when the wheels come off the cart, it's going to be too late to do anything. So if you don't mind, could you hit that like button and subscribe? Maybe even leave a comment for me below and send me an email if you want to discuss uh, any of the items that I talked about in this video. Ed Anderson, live from Minnesota, signing out. Copy that.